Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to display dynamic text on the screen. In other words, how to display the contents of a variable on the screen and how to get the screen to update um, every time the contents of the variable changes. So let's firstly create our variable and let's drag a variable box onto the screen and this says we're going to write a number which is zero inside the variable and make sure you name the variable and we're just going to call this variable yes for now. So the variable name is yes and initially it contains a number zero and we want to display this on the screen so go back to the action panel and drag the display block onto the screen and um, basically we're going to display uh, some text on the screen and um, the text we're going to display it um, you can either specify the coordinates using pixels or grid let's try grid this time so we're going to display within the first row on the first row and the first column actually this is the row and this is the column and it's going to have a text size of 2 and um, what text are we displaying on the screen you also need to say that so where do we um, put that in is right now it's going to say mindstorms but we don't want it to say mindstorms we want it to say the contents of this variable so we're going to drag this um, actually we need a read block so let's read the contents of the variable read the number from the variable and drag the value to the text block and if I run this program now it should display the number zero um, somewhere on the screen so let's try that also don't forget we need to say how long we want to um, display the text for so let's make it keep displaying so we're gonna keep displaying for let's say let's do it for five seconds okay so run the program download and run the program see if it shows up so you can see when we run the program it displays the number zero on the screen for approximately five seconds so it's working So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it keep displaying this on the screen on the screen for uh, forever. So let's get rid of the wait until block. So let's delete that. And let's drag on a loop forever block. And let's put all this inside a loop so it should display there um, forever. And while it's doing that, I'm going to drag on another start block so Basically, these two programs are going to be running at the same time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that if I press the button here, so if I press the button, uh, actually, let's drag another loop forever block. And at the start of the loop, I'm going to make it wait for me to press a button so this doesn't have to be a touch sensor I'm just gonna make it wait for me to press a button on the brick so when I um, press the middle button on the brick when I um, bump it which means if I press and then release it what we're gonna do is we're going to get the contents of the variable inside the um, yes variable we're gonna read the number from it so right now it's gonna be zero and we're gonna add one to it so let's use the math block and choose add and the we're gonna add one to the yes variable so that's what this means uh, so whatever the yes variable is we add one to it and then we're going to put it back inside the yes variable okay so basically initially it's going to be zero we add one to it so now it's going to say one 
and then because it's always displaying the yes variable on the screen it should update it okay and once it's updated uh, this loop is going forever as well so it's gonna wait for me to press the button again actually just before we test it um, what we want to do is we also want to drag this um, right zero into the yes variable outside of the loop otherwise um, straight after we write the number zero inside the variable uh, is sorry straight after we add one to the variable it's gonna change it back to zero again in this loop so that's not gonna help so let's run the program now and see what happens so now you can see that when we run the program it's got the number zero and then every time I press the middle button it increases that number by one which is what we wanted okay so now let's extend this concept a little bit further but if you understand everything I've been saying now you probably can extend it yourself but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use two buttons and one button's gonna represent yes and the other button's gonna represent no so when I press one button the yes number will increase and when I press the other button the no variable will increase okay and um, I'm also gonna make it display on the screen the yes uh, variable and a no variable and I'm gonna mix it up with some text some other text on the screen so uh, you guys can try that out first and then come back to see the answer so basically I'm gonna copy this entire thing copy and paste and um, you can also name your loops if you want so I'm not gonna bother with this but you can change your name here um, so I'm basically gonna add another variable called no and every time I press I'm gonna change this to the right button when I press the right button the yes variable is gonna increase but when I press the left button the no variable is gonna increase okay the no variable is gonna increase by one and initially when the program is run I'm going to make it set both the yes and the no variable to zero and I'm gonna display the no variable on the screen as well and once we set that to zero we're also gonna read from it okay so let's copy this one again and read the no variable and display that on the screen so I'm gonna drag on another display block okay and I'm going to display text uh, grid and let's display the no variable oops I'm gonna make it display wide text display the no variable on the screen and let's put it in again um, the first column but the, let's make it the third row okay and now it should keep showing me um, the yes and the no variables on the screen so one last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the clear screen option is changed to false for both of these um, blocks otherwise it's gonna keep what was on the screen before and what we're gonna do is also add another display block when the program starts and we're just gonna display an empty text and this will help us clear the screen so just display an empty text and make it make sure it clears the screen and if you run this program now it should definitely work so now you can see that there are two numbers displaying on the screen and if I press the right mouse button on the brick it should increase one number and if I press the left button on the brick it increases the other number Okay, so let's make this the end of the tutorial. I hope this helped you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.